Good morning. Welcome back to a vlog. It's finally cold outside. I'm so excited. But my face is a mess. Don't don't mind me. But I'm at Target and it's Tuesday and we're about to just hop back into fall activities and I need to pick up a couple of things for the kids tonight because I ordered them some like little tents and mattresses off Amazon because you know they've been asking about going camping in the backyard and I didn't know how I wanted to do it but we're gonna kind of do it like on the patio instead of in the yard to avoid the bugs and such so I need to pick up some like twin size sheets for them a pillow um, a little blanket some movie snacks I already have like little trays to put their stuff on and then I need to get some fruit and some milk something simple and then today's also a maintenance day so I'm going to get my nails done my eyelashes done and um, I'm gonna schedule a chemical peel because my face is just a mess so. to um put the groceries away so Aaron's taking them in his mom is here with the kids um and we are gonna go head to the nail shop I think I'm gonna go basic for a little while I can't decide every time I go to the nail shop I do this I'll be like thinking I'm going in getting one thing but I think I just want to go back to French tip for a little bit yeah I, I explored a lot of other stuff lately did some cool things but I think I want to do like I'm low-key thinking about doing like short square french tip like i don't know why i just <laughs> i'm trying to get back into my put together era and i feel like it's easy to maintain your nails whenever you just get the same thing i know that's boring and i'll probably switch it up here and there i might not even get french tip knowing me i've learned about myself i'm very indecisive i didn't ever used to think i was like an indecisive person but i actually am very indecisive it's quite annoying actually um, yeah, I'm definitely gonna go back to French tip on my toes though. I got a neutral and a soft pink the last couple times So it's been a minute since I had a cool just like little French tip set. So That's what I think I'm gonna go ahead and do But yeah I'll see you when we get there. I'm gonna do a whole haul of everything that we got from Target when we get back home We just put the cold stuff up. We just got like fruits veggies which i showed you guys that some milk and some cream cheese and then we got some clothes for the boys that i'll show you guys whenever we get back um we're back this is what they, i think i showed you guys my nails i didn't film a lot because i was getting them done at the same time and it was kind of chaotic so i couldn't film as much as i wanted to but we're back home and i'm about to try to do a haul real fast everything we got from target and then i also want to make sandwiches ever since i made that little grinder sandwich y'all saw in the last vlog I'm like addicted to it. It's so good. I like it. I tried it on both different breads. I don't think I was vlogging when I tried it on that like submarine bread, but I actually like it better on just like regular sandwich bread. So, you want nanas? You want nanas? But I'm hungry. I've ate all day. I was going to stop at Starbucks, but 
don't have time, so. Let's get into it. I'll just put the chicken on the stove while I'm talking. Yeah, okay. Hold on. One thing at a time. Okay. Let's do the what we got from Target. I also got a couple other things. <clears throat> so I got some twin sheets from Target, which I should just got some off Amazon, but they was expensive. These were like fifteen dollars each, and it literally comes with one fitted sheet. Wait, but I just needed something quick. I don't know where our extra sheets are for the boys bed so we needed them anyways but got those i got this little christmas cutting board so i can like put it up in the kitchen right here where this is next week because next week is christmas i feel like that's you know everybody thinks it's like weird that you do like christmas in november or like some people are like oh why do you do that but like you do halloween slash fall september october and then you do christmas november december you need to get like a whole one month worth of christmas is not enough time Okay, are we on the same page? Anyways, <laughs> all right, pajama haul. So we ended up getting the boys some Christmas pajamas and regular pajamas, but these I thought were so cute. These are Carter's. Um, and then I couldn't find the ones to match um, Mello, like for Carmelo to match them. So I'm gonna look on Target's website and see if I can get them online. Um, but I got these for Carson. And then I was able to find one matching set. Um, for the boys and I want to find this in the infant size as well so I thought these were cute they have little reindeers on them yeah and then we got the boys these two pack of Marvel pajamas so this one has like Spider-Man Ghost Spider Hulk and then Spider-Man they have Spider-Man pajamas but not like that one so Carter underwear they are always it's not focusing why was it out of focus this whole time I think it was anyways okay moving on same little set um let's see for mellow we got this cute little bear um pants and onesies and then me and Aaron got matching Halloween pajamas because why not? Why not? <laughs> but I think I'm going to end up ordering um, those. I think I showed you guys in the last vlog. I'm pretty sure those onesies from. Okay. Uh, we are so cute. But so loud. But, anyways, okay. There's those onesies that I said that were like the dupe for Kite Baby. We got those. I hope I showed those to you guys in the vlog. I don't remember if I did or not, but I really like them. I really like the material. So I'm going to order him some more of those for like nighttime sleeping. But we got him some like little out onesies. They didn't, Target really didn't have a lot in 9 to 12 months. Um, usually I really like their stuff, but I just grabbed whatever we could because he needs some stuff. But yeah, I got 9 months. This one's probably my favorite. I think this is so cute with the little dinosaurs and then we got one that's a little bit thicker and fuzzier that he can wear oh my goodness oh my goodness here we go what you making that face for I'm not trying to cause any havoc, but I just thought I would let y'all know because I saw on TikTok, apparently there's going to be like a butter shortage and apparently butter is really expensive right now too. So what did I do? I bought two packs at the stove. Because like I literally cook, I cook all my food with butter. Like, what? Alright. The last two things we got were these little cups. I think these are literally so adorable. The kids love Spider-Man, so I think tonight, I was gonna try to do like a Halloween themed setup 
for the tints, but honestly, it's just kind of like last minute planning. So I think what I'm going to do is just do more Spider-Man theme because they already have Spider-Man blankets. I got them some cups. They got the Spider-Man pajamas and that's what the theme will be for their little tints tonight. Um, and then I picked these up because I'm like, anytime you see anything Christmas at Target, you just have to go ahead and get it if it's seasonal because it will not come back. So I ended up getting these little black Santa cups for Christmas. Yeah, this huge pile of clothes. I'm gonna put it on the stairs to go upstairs. Okay, the camera battery is about to die, so I'm gonna just go ahead and do all the stuff to make the sandwich, and then I'm gonna come back because I still have a couple other things that I want to open with you guys um, that I got from Amazon and last week, so. BRB. Okay, I want to get my lashes done. I have some of that like B5 cream from La Roger on my little spots. Hopefully they'll heal since, or I just want them to not be as sensitive since I'm going to go get my peel tomorrow. So I'm trying to just keep them covered up while I'm in the house, but all my camera batteries are finna die. So I'm going to try to get through this. It's only like really like two boxes. It's really I'm just gonna open one. I got my sheets in from Baruch Linen, which I'm super, super excited about. But I'm gonna open those later. So last week, I was telling you guys, oh my god, the battery is about to die. <laughs> I wanna open up my, I got my picnic basket and stuff in that I was telling you guys we're gonna go on a picnic last week and then we never ended up going. So I got this stuff. Let me change the battery real fast. Okay. Back in action. Let's open it. I picked my clothes. I gotta stop using my nails to open stuff. I gotta get a better habit. Um, I need to order a box cutter off of Amazon. I'm about to place a huge Amazon order because I feel like I need some Amazon retail therapy. Anybody else? Or just me? Here's the picnic blanket. So cute. I think I want to go tomorrow because I'm getting my chemical peel tomorrow at 11 and I low-key want to go in the morning it'll be a little chilly but like we could get hot chocolate and do like a breakfast picnic and wear warm clothes it'll be fun um because I really want to do it before they take all the pumpkins down out of the arboretum because it's so pretty but um this is what the blanket looks like it comes with these little straps and handles you can Keep it rolled up so I thought this was real cute. And then the basket I was getting. This is like way smaller than I thought it was gonna be. And then, this is what it looks like. It's low key but it feels kind of small. Let's open it up. I'm like trying to sit in my chair. Okay, we got a cute little little latch watch this is definitely not the one that i ordered okay cool i was gonna say this doesn't look like the one i ordered it comes with a little can opener and knife though that's cute and then it comes with like plates and it has these forks it's still cute but this is not the one i ordered so let me look and see if there's any differences I think the main thing is like this is not the this is not the pattern basket that I ordered and I think I got a lighter color basket because that's the first thing I noticed when I saw it I was like oh I did not like that color I know I did not pick that color I'm gonna be so embarrassed if I click on it and that is what I ordered that's exactly That's not what it looked like on the pictures. <laughs> this basket looks way lighter. And you cannot see the flowers in the background on that picture. Can y'all see it? But if I zoom in, I can tell that there is flowers on there. But that's not what I ordered. Anyway, it don't matter. It's fine. We gonna keep it. I'm about to answer a couple emails and then get on my meeting. I don't know if I ever told you guys or not, but I got accepted to join the YouTube Partner Program um, this time around. It's basically like a program for content creators. And if you get selected to apply, you apply and then they'll tell you 
yes or no and then if you get accepted you basically get like um I don't, I don't know if I would, it's like a youtube partner and they basically interact with you and they're just gonna for the next like six months help you to do whatever you want to do on youtube and give you the best advice they can to help you essentially like grow your channel so i've been working with her my since august but we've been missing each other like we had one introduction meeting and then she went out of town and then she came back and she missed me and she missed me and then this last two times we were scheduled to meet i missed her so today i'm finally like okay it's also because i accidentally missed her once because i forget that i'm in different time zones than um basically pretty much everybody that i work with like on the managerial side is in a different time zone than me so sometimes i forget and yeah so anyways excuse me i'm gonna check some emails and then i have a meeting with her in half an hour so i'm just gonna stay by my computer i set an alarm on my phone so i don't miss her today and yeah after i get off my meeting then i'll come back and chat with you guys hopefully this stuff will have gets delivered here soon i have to leave here at 5 30 to go meet kaylee and the boys will also be leaving for football practice at the same time so my hope was that the stuff was going to get here before i left so i could set it all up and then it would just be ready for them when they get home from practice like the tents and stuff but i don't know what's gonna happen so like i said we're just gonna play it by ear and then hope for the best I'm about to head to Starbucks. I have no idea what I want to get because I'm like, well, I guess I'm just gonna take a minute to look at the menu. Sure, cut me off. Nobody cares. Thanks. Anyways, I want to try a fall drink. I I've been seeing their apple. I tried a sample of the apple frap and it was good, but then whenever I got it in like the big size, wasn't really a fan um and then the apple macchiato i think is what i want to try i love apple i'm like an apple girl because i don't do pumpkin because i'm allergic to pumpkin and i don't like pumpkin anyways but um <sighs> aaron is addicted to the um caramel frappuccinos so i'm either gonna get an apple macchiato or i'm gonna get something light like a refresher or a tea I really need a damn espresso if we want to be honest because my energy is depleted does anybody else have that I don't know if it's like just like a mom thing I'm sure it's like a everybody everybody's got to have like a midday crash the time may vary but I feel like everybody's got to have like a time they crash and mine is literally every day with no exception of the day between four and five I'm gonna have like a crash like I'm gonna be tired I'm ready to be done with the day and go to sleep and that's usually when I'll drink like a Red Bull or tea or have or like make myself a coffee or something because if not I just cannot make it through the day so that's why we're going to Starbucks and it's so funny too because like I'm one of those people who's like a night person but having kids has literally forced me to stay awake during the day because um, if not I would literally sleep all day and be up all night because I'm just more productive at night because I'm just naturally like a night owl and like as soon as the sun sets all my energy is back I'm no longer tired I'm not ready for bed I'm like okay what can I do let me clean the house let me edit like and trying to force myself to be on a, like a mom schedule is the hardest part about being a mom for me to be honest and i guess like because like i put my because my kids are on such like a regular schedule but it is fucking exhausting exhausting i i was born to be nocturnal i think all right let me slow down and look at the menu before i order. Hmm. There's not really anything right here. I'm gonna get Erin a caramel ribbon crunch. Let me just ask her. Can I have a tall caramel ribbon crunch? Anything else? Yeah, can I also do, I wanna try the iced apple crisp oat milk macchiato. And can I add like two pumps of liquid cane sugar? I'm sorry, two pumps of what? 
uh, the, the liquid sugar. And what size did you want that? The grande is fine. Anything else? Um, can I do a turkey bacon sandwich? At this point, I need the app. Real bad. Real bad. Oh, I was doing so good at saving money, you guys. And then here comes Starbucks. Like, no, the fuck you don't, girl. I had to take all my credit cards and put them in my purse to sign up for Apple Pay, and now I don't know which one is which because they all look fucking the same. I don't like that Starbucks. I will never go back there. They did not even put no crunch on top of it. Look at the caramel. There's like nothing on there. They are dirty for that. Okay, dark tea. And this apple crisp, I feel like I just need to stir it up. Let me stir it up. Is there anybody behind me? No. Let's stir it. Let's stir it, stir it, stir it. Anyways, did I tell you guys about my meeting? It went really good. I love the YouTube partner. Um, person that's assigned to me, she's super sweet. I don't know how y'all be shaking out a drink so hard that it be mixing up. I don't want to spill it. Oh, there's some, there's some apple stuff at the bottom. Ooh, delicious. Mmm. Okay. That's actually really good. Uh, when I first took a sip of it, it wasn't all mixed up, but um, that was actually that was actually per fire. I like it. Okay. Oh, that's really good. Just gotta mix it up real well. But it has this stuff at the bottom. I don't know if that's like apple syrup or whatever. It tastes like apple, but. in the middle of the parking lot. That's good. It's just like apple, yeah, apple crisp. I don't know. It's good though. 1010. Drink it with a straw too. That way you can get the stuff at the bottom when you're drinking it. Okay. Okay. That turkey bacon sandwich is so hot. I had the grinder sandwich earlier, like whatever my version of the grinder sandwich. Basically a chicken sandwich, but it didn't hit how it did the last two times, so I think that I'm maxed out on it now. You know when you like really like something, so you start eating it all the time, and then you have it a couple times, and you're like, okay, it's just not hitting anymore, so I think that's what happened. <laughs> it was good the first time, though, and the second time, third time they can keep it, but I only ate like a little bit of it, and I'm hungry. Mm. I'm gonna go home. Make the kids a snack before football practice. Probably like peanut butter jelly with some apples. And then give Carmelo a bath, get him ready for bed, put him to sleep, and then I'll come back when I start cooking dinner. Hopefully the tents and stuff show up tonight so we can still do that, but I'll see y'all in a little bit. Okay. Imagine rock up in them projects with them. Pick your pockets and the cross don't miss them stockings. Liquor spilling, just popping. Get sold and you the whip. Ain't no turkey on Thanksgiving. My whole boy just don't. I just hope the Lord forgive him. Pass with residue every day i'm hustling what else is a thug to do when you eat cheese from the government gotta provide for my daughter and them get the fuck up on my way got that drum and i got them bands just like a parade drop that work up in the bushes hope them boys don't see my stash if they do tell the truth this the last time you might see my from the gardens where the grass ain't cut them serpents working blood Okay, we're done. Come on.
the tints are made. Ideally, it would be more aesthetic and cute, but tonight we have time. It's so it's a little wrinkly. Go ahead, go get under your blankets. Your fingers, okay? We need more fire. Yeah. Oh. Here, put some chocolate. Uh, put, put another piece of chocolate on it. You sure about this, Dad? That's good. Oh, mine's gonna do it. Both of y'all's burnt. Check it out. Not on yet. You finna drop it. time to talk because I have to be in my appointment in right now so we're gonna get our chemical peel today and then I'll catch y'all up once we get in there okay it is like 12 30 in the afternoon I'm about to make the kids lunch a late lunch um because I just obviously got back from getting my chemical peel I ended up getting the vi peel and I got the precision plus and purify so there's two different types of vi peels one is more for hyperpigmentation another one is mixed with an acne medicine as well and since I've been having a lot of breakouts lately she was like for the first round um because I might have to get another peel it just depends like on what I the results I get and if I like them basically um but it's also supposed to help kill the acne bring it up to the surface get rid of it <clears throat> and target hyperpigmentation my voice is going away i don't know why um because <clears throat> i sounded fine yesterday and my throat doesn't hurt but for some reason i'm like <laughs> scratchy anyways the kids are watching a movie we're about to make macaroni and hot dogs even though that's not what i want to do i'm being forced the little monsters yes i'm talking about you little monsters so for the rest of the day i do have um i'm about to finish up i'm exporting a vlog right now which will be a vlog you guys saw all my vlogs are gonna be back to back since i was like so behind but anyways Today I have to finish one other thing up work-wise, so I'm going to do that while the boys are napping because I need to do a voiceover for a sponsorship. We ended up having a good time outside. We sat there for like an hour. It was too cold to just like stay out there for a long time. I just want to kiss you, but I don't want to get anything on you. So basically with this peel, you have to leave it on for... Excuse me. Oh, don't touch my face, okay? You have to leave it on, um, I don't want any of the chemicals to get on him. You have to leave it on for four hours before you rinse it off. Yeah. What you looking at, man? Do -do 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 
Hi, Papa. Sweet boy. Sweet boy. Hi, baby. Alright. I'm gonna put this macaroni on the stove because the water's boiled now. I'm gonna try to assemble his high chair. Um, and then I'll come back and get with y'all in a little bit. I just really gotta get all this, get the boys settled, put them down for a nap. Finish up my little work. Okay. My face is very swollen, if you guys can't tell, which is normal. This happened to me the last time I got a peel. It basically looks like someone beat my face. <laughs> <So>, um, <clears throat> we're at the four hour mark now, so it's time for me to wash uh, my face and put the creams and stuff on there. So I was just gonna do those steps with you guys every day. Just in case anybody was curious, um, obviously I'm having like the swelling underneath my eyes and then it's a lot darker um, in the places where the skin is thinner and then I had that before, that before. And then my little dark marks on my forehead are already starting to kind of like flake up, so. Okay, so the first step after four hours, um, I'm gonna take a picture. I, there's a little app that you can do to like track it and save all your progress photos and stuff, but. We're gonna do it like that. Um, okay, so what's up? Yes. Mm, uh, okay. It says at four hours post treatment, cleanse the skin with a gentle purifying cleanser. Rinse with cool water and pat dry. And then there's a couple of other steps after that. Okay, so this basically looks like it's like travel sized stuff or whatever um let's hope for the best <clears throat> so this is the repair cream where's the cleanser where's the cleanser i guess the cleanser comes in these little packs yeah like this and you only get oh, two of them <clears throat> okay, well, I guess you're not supposed to use a lot of it at a time, so I'm just going to use a little bit. I'm a big boy. Yes, Mom, I'm a big boy. Yes, you are. I'm coming in and trying to pee into it. You're literally just coming in here to mess with me. Get out. Thank you. I'm Get out. He's I'm going to go pee in that bathroom. Not going to go to bed. Okay, I guess I'm just gonna use a little bit at a time. This was bad packaging, if I do say so myself. Cause it's like, they could've just gave a little tube. Anyways, all right. I'm always scared to touch my face after a peel. It's like, hurt or anything I just want to make sure I'm being really gentle so I don't scratch myself on that skin so a little bit of the cleanser does go a long way so I'll just have to keep that in mind and the peel is like that orange tint so I'm just kind of basically going to wash until I see that kind of come off my face I'm using my towelettes from a clean skin cut. I feel like I might have to like double cleanse my face because I think I missed some. Like you see it's coming off on there. And I don't want to rub my face. I legit look like I got beat the fuck Okay. So now we're supposed to go in with the peel purifying towel. All the moms out there that had their kids back to back because I thought they would be best friends. You understand. 
All they do is fight 24-7. They are best friends, but they literally fight 24-7. So. Fun for me. Okay, so it says, locate the towelette. This is the peel purifying towelette. Apply to the areas where the peel was applied with gentle pressure. Discard the towelette and then wash your hands. Wait 10 minutes and then put on the post recovery cream. Aaron went to the tattoo shop too, so I'm going to be real curious to see what he comes home with. Tattooed. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. Set a timer for 10 minutes. Okay. All of this is done now. And 10 minutes we have to put this on, but we get the baby. I'm trying to finish cleaning up really fast. I'm in the midst of doing the dishes. It's four o'clock. I want to finish the dishes before five because it's when I'm gonna do Mello's bedtime and I'm gonna start on dinner, so. All right, one baby asleep. I think I'm starting to get down this nighttime routine. Yeah. The baby is asleep and now we can cook dinner. So it's like Mello goes to sleep, then I can cook dinner, boys eat, boys bath, boys bed. They're all boys, but I call the older two the boys, I don't know why. Yeah, we're about to cook our this, 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 this steak. This is the meat. The butter. Butter makes it better, baby. And I'm honestly just going to cook the steak in the air fryer. Honestly, I low key think I'm going to put them on the pan really quick. Just for a second to saute them and get the juices. Because I think I want to do... I want to have gravy on it. I really like my steak with like bone marrow gravy. And I have some bone marrow broth. I need a cast iron skillet. seasonings for everything. I should really expand my horizons up, you know? It is what it is. I like a crust on my steak. Okay? I like my steak well seasoned. Best thing ever if you like like sauteed onions and you use them often but you don't always have time to like cut an onion or your fresh onions go bad whatever girl get you some of these i know they have them at target i don't know where else they have them but they come just like already sauteed and frozen and you basically just have to heat all them um and i'm gonna use that for my gravy mixture okay this is what it came out looking like 10 10 look amazing okay 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 Perfection. I put my bone marrow gravy on there. Delish. And then the broccoli, smothered it in butter. Delicious, delicious, delicious. I'm about to have to make another bag of broccoli because I just sat here and ate this entire one by myself. And I have no regrets. It's delicious. Okay. I just want to show y'all my steak. It looks good, right? This is what we look like immediately out of bed. I'm scary. <clears throat> my voice is gone. I'm obviously sick. I think I was telling y'all that, or like I started to notice my voice was gone. Like, yeah. 
it's gonna be gone today if I don't go drink some tea or something. <clears throat> What's up? I'm gonna make myself a little medicine ball in a minute with breakfast, but geez. All right, morning two. Cleanse your face, apply a thin layer of post treatment, apply. Okay, so we're gonna put sunscreen on and just the post repair cream and wash your face this morning. So <clears throat> here goes with the I can't even talk. I think I'm think I'm gonna be out for the day. Yeah, I'm out sick for today. Because Yeah. Oh my goodness. I'm about to make breakfast. I'm gonna make myself my tea. Um, these two together. You can get off Amazon or Target. These are the medicine ball from Starbucks. I'm about to make the medicine ball. I drank my tea and my voice is already sounding a little bit better, but I went out to check the mail and my Warby Parker box came in and they are the sponsor of today's video. So I just want to go ahead and open it with you guys and try on the glasses. You guys know I love Warby and trying on their different glasses as I'm trying to find my new little style of what I'm going to be wearing. So Warby Parker offers everything you need for happier eyes eyeglasses, sunglasses, contact lenses, and eye exams. And you can shop with them online or in store. Warby is super affordable with glasses starting at only $95, including prescription lenses, sunglasses, and progressives. Something really cool that Warby offers is their free at home try on kit. So basically what you do is you'll go onto Warby Parker's website and you can take a quiz and Warby will suggest some glasses to fit your face and style. You order five pairs of glasses and then try them for five days. There's no obligation to buy, it ships free and includes a prepaid return label and you can try taking the quiz today to find a pair that is perfect for you. When I'm looking for glasses, what's really important to me is color and shape. So I always like to stay within the neutral tone so that it matches the outfits that I normally wear. Through my quiz, these are the glasses that I was recommended. If you're interested in trying Warby Parker's free home try-on program, order five pairs of glasses to try at home for free for five days. There's no obligation to buy, ships free, includes a prepaid return shipping label. Try five pairs of glasses at home for free at Warby Parker backslash McKay. Thank you again to Warby for sponsoring today's video. Okay, I'm trying to stay like out of the sun, but also y'all be able to see me. Anyways, okay, I'm sitting in Judah's room. I said I was going to get dressed and start cleaning up, but then I walked past his room and I was like, I really want to get his room together. Like he's got to start sleeping in here, at least napping in here, getting used to being in here. And we have all this stuff that we haven't put together yet that I wanted to put together. Um, just as far as like he's getting bigger for him to start like using as he moves around and stuff so I think I'm about to rearrange the furniture in here we finally got a drill the other day Aaron went and got a drill and so we can like put the curtains up because the biggest reason why he really doesn't sleep in here um is one because I he my baby I want to cuddle him I've been kind of iffy about sleep training him just because I'm like he's my last baby I like him being right next to me but um also, we didn't have blackout curtains in here, um, and because the ones I tried to put up, if you guys saw that vlog, they fell down. <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> yeah, I wanted to drill those in today and just like see what I need because I think I'm missing the screws for. I'll show y'all. My camera mount also just broke. <laughs> So we have this balance beam, which I had got for Carter and Carson. And so now they're like bigger. They don't really use it as much. And then I got this play gym. That's also, um, it's just like for them to practice like, it's like just for them to practice like crawling and climbing up and stuff like that. So I wanted to get that done, but I don't really know what the layout of this room should be. Cause I feel like it's kind of like, weird because i don't want to put the crib under the window but i feel like that's the best place for it to go if that makes sense like as far as the way everything would just like flow in the room um but i don't want him by the window because i'm like if i decide to put curtains up i don't want him to pull on the curtains and then the rod fell down if there was a storm the window broke whatever i just don't really think it's a good idea to have it under there but i also don't want to put him on this wall because he goes to sleep before the boys and then their bathroom is right there and they're always noisy when they take a bath they just get excited while they're playing 
and so I don't want that to wake him up. So then I'm like, okay, this is basically the only wall because that wall right there is the hallway, people walking back and forth, also noisy. So this is like the only wall that it can really go on or the wall with the window. So I've been conflicted about what I was going to do because um, that also is like makes it a weird place for the rocking chair to be and yeah, I don't know. So we're going to rearrange this room really fast. It's been so long since I've been able to find one of my, like I've had both of my skims pieces that match together. I need to pack up all of his clothes that don't fit and just put them in a pile. Um, Cause my friend, one of my friends from high school is having a baby boy. And so I told her I would give her like all the stuff I didn't use. So I'm gonna give her my maternity bras too, but he literally has like, Oh my gosh, you guys look, he used to be so little. It goes so fast. But basically this entire drawer over here is too small for him. He grew, he grew out of everything so fast. Like I only had to buy like a few pieces for him for every size because it was just like he grew out of it so fast. This is all like zero to three months six to nine months and he's only five months these little onesies are my favorite they're so cute and little bitty okay all right i've been needing to do this for a while she told me she i was like girl just come and then i'll have no choice but to do it but like so she was like oh i'll come next week and then she never ended up coming so i'm gonna just put it all together for her and then tell her she can come pick it up because she's due in December, so we're low-key getting close, so I'm like, let me just go ahead. I'm just basically going to give her, like, all of the stuff he outgrew, so, like, the swing is over here. Um, that little sit-up toy. I was thinking about giving her the bassinet, but I don't know if I'm ready to let go of the bassinet yet, because he still sleeps in there sometimes, but I guess if he's about to be six months, then it's time to probably get rid of it, but... <clears throat> I feel like the bassinet's just nice whenever I don't want him sleeping in the bed, but I still want him sleeping in the room. I thought about also putting his crib in our room because our room is huge. Like, we have more than enough space for him to sleep in our room with us. But also, I'm like, do I want him to be in the habit of that? I don't know. I can't even know. So, oh, what's this? He probably even never got to wear this. How cute has little whales. And then we have a bunch of random stuff that we need to take out of here. these little headphones for him i use them for carson and for him because carson's ears are sensitive to loud noise all the boys really were like when they were younger and then i got these for him like, if we go out places There's so much random stuff in there <clears throat> i'm gonna put i'm gonna use this box for trash and then put these diapers up in this drawer I really want to get him a new dresser, but because when we moved the movers, they broke one of the pieces to this dresser, and it drives me really nuts. But also, I think I'm just going to end up getting him... <clears throat> I think I'm just going to end up using this as like a hand-me-down dresser and put it... Um, I don't know. I was going to say maybe in the closet because I was starting to think about it and I'm like, okay, I was going to get rid of, I've been getting rid of all of Carter and Carson's clothes for like, because I didn't think I was going to have Mello and then I had Mello. So now I guess I'm just going to like try to like save what is salvageable out of their clothes, which probably is not a lot. I mean, they stain their clothes, get holes in their clothes. Lord knows what they do with their clothes, but, um, yeah, I might keep that dresser. And then just store their old stuff in there and kind of use that as my organization system. Or I might get some like vacuum seals and bug bags. I don't know yet. I haven't decided. But I think I'm going to get the same dresser that's in Carter and Carson's room because I really like that style of dresser. And it was pretty inexpensive. I think I got it off of um, the Wayfair. So, yeah. <clears throat> All right. Let's see what's in the rest of these. Let's put the trash in here. Some Velcro strips. Okay. Random clothes. Let's 
so as are these. We are getting ready to go to Disney. These are cute. Too small. I'm pretty sure this entire set is too small, even though it's so cute. Yeah, so, see? Oh my gosh, it's like little overalls with dinosaurs. Too small. These shorts, too small. There's some cute stuff in here. Oh, I'm getting baby fever all over again. I low-key always said if I was gonna have three babies that I was gonna have four, and Carter all the time is like, okay, well we need a new baby because Carmelo needs a friend, and I'm like, not happening, bud. But sometimes I wish maybe we would have had one more, but it's a done deal now unless we go do IVF, which I don't think we'll do, because I don't think it's that serious. I really don't. I mean. I don't think it would be hard to have another one at this point because it's like, it, I feel like it was harder transitioning back to mellow because it's like back to diapers, back to a diaper bag, back to the newborn phase. Um, so I don't think it would be hard to have another one right after him because having Carter and Carson together back to back, like they're 22 months apart and I feel like that was like perfect. So let me stop talking about it because I know I would. <laughs> listen, 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 listen. Okay, this is all just random clothes that doesn't belong in here. So I'm gonna make a pile right there. I don't know how I feel about this. Aaron is like, McKenna, he doesn't like when I put him in this because he's like, he's gonna be so hot. But I'm like, it's about to be winter time. So, I don't know. He didn't, he doesn't, I don't know. He doesn't really like it that much. I think I'm just gonna pass it along. <clears throat> we only used it a couple times. I'm gonna text her and tell her. I had already um, gave my breast pumps to also somebody I knew that was having a baby. They had their baby um, last, was it, I think it was last month in September. Yeah, she had her baby, a family friend had her baby. So I had um, just re, re gifted her my, um, tied to my room, all my breast pump stuff because I knew she was gonna be breastfeeding. I know I'm not a boy, but I love the Palm Angel brand. Like, I want some Palm Angel hoodies. <laughs> I like them way better than the purple brand. <clears throat> <You know. clears throat> men's clothes is so expensive. Like, women's clothes is expensive, but like, men's clothes is so expensive. Okay, all the drawers are cleared out now, except for diapers. I can't really put the, I have some drawer organizers over here somewhere. I'm going to get this to her. I need to find a piece of this. I'm going to put one of these small ones over here on the side for all his diapering. Oh, they don't fit. See? Yeah, this, oh yeah, this is like all messed up. Like, they broke this. Okay. Definitely gonna have to order him a new dresser because I didn't even realize that, like, this whole drawer is, like, sunken in. It looks like it's just about to, like, fall out. So, that's not good. And the drawer organizers don't even fit in there. Boo. I'm throwing tomatoes. I'm throwing tomatoes. Another reason why I want to get the house all together and in order is because of obviously like Christmas decorating and stuff. I'm like already ready to take the fall stuff down, but I'm guess I'm gonna wait. I think I might take the Halloween stuff down the day before, like all the pumpkins down the day before Halloween, because we have to put the tree up November first. Like, <laughs> and I don't even know. I think like all my Christmas stuff from last year is like up in the attic, so I'm gonna have to have Aaron get it down. I was basically sitting in here yesterday and I was trying to imagine like how I would set up the room if it was like a normal room and I feel like I would probably put, I don't know, like either the bed would be on this wall or this wall and then we would have the TV on the opposite wall. I honestly don't think we'll be here 
any longer than our lease, which is like a year. <clears throat> so until next July, but just in case. I really can't see myself staying here, honestly, because when we moved, when rent was like super high, um, and it's definitely gone back down because there's like, like this is all new build homes and the place that's right across from us is the exact same floor plan, exact same house. It's literally like, I wanna say $1,500 less than what we're paying now. So I can only imagine that if things continue to go down that it'll be, unless she goes down on the rent, which <clears throat> I don't even really wanna stay here anyways. I really don't like the floor plan. I feel like this was the best option for us right now as far as everything that we looked at when we were getting ready to move. But I would definitely either, if we're not in a place to buy, I definitely want to have another extra bedroom. Technically the bedroom, the, technically the office downstairs is considered a bedroom because that's a closet, but I obviously wouldn't use it for that. But I don't like, I thought I really liked the Jack and Jill bathrooms, and I would if it was like Carter and Carson, and then Jack and Jill, because I feel like that would make a little bit more sense, but I definitely don't want Mello right next to the boys or a bathroom because it's just too loud for his age and sleeping wise. And then also the like, I don't like the way, it's not that I don't like it, but it's just, it could definitely, we could definitely be in a space that's a little bit more optimal for our family, if that makes sense, so. Anyways, the camera's getting hot, so I'm going to move it around and then I'll come back and show you guys what it looks like and then we'll kind of just go from there. Yeah, we are done. And this is what we ended up with. So I think I like it. I just wanted to really optimize floor space. So we have the dresser over here. And um, I'm going to have Aaron hang the curtains whenever he gets a chance. But yeah, so we're going to get a new dresser, which will be the one out of Carter and Carson's room, the rocking chair. And then I decided to just go ahead and move his crib over on this wall i don't think that the hallway noise will be that bad i mean sometimes the kids wake up in the night and they come in there but they have a noise machine hopefully it'll be all right i just didn't like it over there because it felt like too closed like didn't just like open up the room i guess if that makes sense so there's nothing over on this wall so i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put on his christmas list is like a little ball pit find a couple of other little cute things that match his room decor that he can me yeah i think i'll probably put like don't mind all that that's what came out of his room maybe like a little ball pit over here for him activities and things for him to play with the balance beams over there i'm gonna see if i can find the missing pieces to that other like climbing gym that i showed you guys but yeah i think that's probably gonna be it for him um his crib we got, we got we got we've had all the essential stuff for his room for a while but he just hasn't spent too much time in here so yeah we're looking pretty good in here the boys bathroom and the boys room is a whole another situation their room needs to be cleaned and deep vacuumed desperately but what are we gonna do in here for Christmas decor, you guys? I'm so excited. So I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna switch out their sheets. They do have Grinch sheets already from last year that I kept. And then we're of course gonna have to get them a little tree. I'm trying to decide like what kind of tree I'm gonna put in here. Cause I think when we move the small one, the small one we had for his room is, um. It's, it, it broke in the move. So we'll have to get another tree. Yeah, yes. Okay. Well, we did one room for the day, so we got one project. And it's gonna go on really well. What did you do? Mm. Hello, Mello. Sleeping all up in the pillows in my bed. Time I ever nap or go to sleep 
is that it was in my mama's bed. He was up from like 12 to 1 last night. I was like, okay. What was that about? Just talking. He was just up talking. I was like, dude, people are trying to sleep here. But she would not go back to sleep. Hmm. Hmm. You want to go see your room? You want to go see your room? Excuse you. You want to go see your room? I literally. Your hair looks extra red today. Today he's red hair and blue eyes. And then the other days his hair is more like brown and green eyes. You just a chameleon, huh? Your eyes is real blue today. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, also, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it since we're on the topic of it. And I feel like people keep asking me, all the time and I was gonna address it in another video but I didn't have time so I have time today say I'm not offended by the question either and nor do I feel like I have to explain myself I just can see what other people see so I'm gonna give y'all a breakdown of you and then all the boys have the same dad I've also been getting that question a lot which I'm also not offended by I used to be one of those people who thought if I had kids with the same person like they would all look the same it just didn't happen to be that way with us. All the boys look different. Carter looks like his dad. Carson looks exactly like my dad, and so he favors more so me. And then you have a little bit of my face, but he really looks like um, Aaron's dad's side of the family, so <clears throat> I'll break it down for y'all real quick. I'm mixed. My dad is black. My mom is white. My mom does have hazel eyes, and we do have people on my mom's mom's side of the family that have brown, reddish, toned, blonde hair. Okay, so the fact that my mom is Caucasian is also another reason why his skin could be light. Um, Aaron is not mixed, his mom is black, his dad is black, but his dad has hazel eyes. His mom has almost kind of like the same color eyes as Carmelo, and his mom also has lighter skin. Again, they're all black, but they, if y'all ain't never heard, if you're not black and you never heard of the Eve gene, you should look it up. That's basically, that's basically, I feel like, kind of what is happening. And then he also got a lot of the recessive traits. So, yeah, there's another baby on Aaron's dad's side of the family from Aaron's, who Aaron's cousin had, um, maybe like five or six months older than Carmelo, and they have the same exact eyes. So, it runs in the family. It wasn't, it's not anything. Like, to us, we were kind of like, oh, we didn't ever expect, you know, because we had Carter and Carson, and we thought maybe that they would have hazel eyes, like it would skip a generation, because, like I said, my mom has green eyes. It skipped me. Aaron's dad has colored eyes, it skipped him, so we thought maybe like one of the boys would end up having colored eyes. And the bonus baby ended up with the green, blue, hazel, yellow eyes. His eyes are like really, 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 really pretty. And I think brown eyes are so pretty too. Aaron's eyes, beautiful. His beautiful brown eyes, and both Carter and Carson both have like that twinkly brown eye kind of thing like he does, but he has like almost this like um, yellow burst in the middle of his eyes. Yeah. You're neato, huh? He came out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyways, yeah. The fair skin, like I said, my mom is white. But Aaron's dad was also really light like this when he was young, so... And he is brown now, or has a little bit of color, so... We... We think you gonna get some more color. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But even if you don't, we love you just the way you are. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. So anyways, yeah. I got the same baby daddy. I don't know why the girls is, the girls is really good. Like, I don't know. I think it was like more so like a group of like younger girls that were like back and forth on Instagram debating in the comments if I had the same, if all the kids had the same dad. And like, I never really acknowledge it. People also ask me on live when I get on live and stuff, which I mean, I see what people are seeing. So I understand the question. I'm not offended by it, but nor did I feel like I need to explain it because... I ain't never said they had different dads before, so how do we get there? How do we get there? Yeah. Yeah. Boo. Are you too cute? Yes, you are. Mmm. You want to stand up? Can you hold on? This is how your brother learned how to walk so early. Put your hands right here. I think he'll be like, 
our late blossomer. Yes. Because Carter was already sitting up by like four or five months. Carter started walking at like running at eight months, standing at six months. Um, and then Carson kind of followed suit right behind him. He was kind of like a couple months off from Carter, but I literally have pictures. Okay, just imagine Carmelo walking because he wears nine to 12 month clothes and Carter was like on track with his sizing. So he was wearing eight month clothes. So he was about this big, right? And he was walking. I'll see if I can insert some clips. It's, it was hilarious because he was just so little just walking around. It was so funny, but he just like, he never crawled. Carter, he skipped crawling completely. He kind of like hobbled on one leg for like a week and then he just like took off and he just like started walking. And then Carson was kind of the same. Carson crawled more than Carter and he started walking around like nine, 10 months. Judah over here, we're still trying to master sitting, sitting up. So <laughs> he stands well, like when he walks his legs well and stuff, but you're just a baby. Say, I'm just a baby. I'm just a baby. Yeah. No pressure. No pressure. You're the biggest one of all. Look at this big baby. This looks like a one-year-old baby. You are a big boy. <laughs> you are a big, big boy. Yes. You're a big boy. All right. <clears throat> The boys are bringing home McDonald's for lunch, so I'm gonna sit you down. Let's see what you do in here. Just kind of play, okay? We'll get you some toys soon. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and just put all this stuff where it uh, belongs, and then, I don't know, I'm in a cleaning organizing mood because I really just want to get the house together and clean, but I feel like I need to organize in order to clean first. So I need to like declutter everything and everything is kind of just like very cluttered right now. So that's the plan. I'll come back and get y'all once I move on to the next room. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. If I'm going to go to, um, if I'm going to do my bedroom first. I feel like I'm always cleaning the downstairs. So I really just need to focus on the upstairs and the bathrooms need to be cleaned desperately. I mean, the boys bathroom is just imagine a toddler's restroom, like two toddler boys. It's disgusting. Um, so yeah, I guess I'll probably do the kids' rooms first, so I can go through their clothes. But okay, you're gonna be all right. You're all right. You gonna crawl? Where are you gonna go? You gonna roll over? Say I'm good at rolling over. Yeah, you gonna roll over? There you go. Pull your hands up. Good job, stinky butt. Good job, stinky butt. I think your brothers are home. Are you gonna roll over? Roll over. Up over here. He usually only rolls <laughs> to this side. Come here. You did a roll? Huh? Or maybe he rolls from his back to his, to his front. Roll over here. Roll over here. Hi. Hello. Hi. 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 Oh, yeah? Did he say hi? I swear he'd be saying hi or hey, and he'd be saying dada a lot. <laughs> And you sometimes be trying to say mama. I can hear it. I'm not delusional. I swear. But he did. Like last night he was saying like dad dad like clear as day in the middle of the night when he was up at like 12 to 1. He was like da 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 da. But you're mommy's baby, right? My two oldest, they were daddy's boys. And I could, it drove me nuts. Especially Carter because he was my first baby. I just like couldn't. I was so jealous at the fact that he just like liked Aaron more and Aaron more had like a more natural type of parenting thing like I knew how to be a parent like I know how to change diapers I know how to make doctor's appointments I knew how to do all of like the stuff you're supposed to do but I didn't have that like bonding thing with Carter when he was first born so he really favored his dad a lot more and it not until like recently do I feel like they have both crossed over to being mom's boys they definitely still love their daddy to death 
but I think they're kind of more toward leaning to the like, that's my mommy. You know what I mean? They use, they're still like that with their dad, but they're definitely more inclusive of me in that favoritism now. So, but your mama's going right, right. You love your mama. Yeah. Say, I love my daddy too, but I think if you had to choose me or him, it would be me, right? Hmm? Right, it would be me, right? Don't play me. Oh, yeah? Everybody always wonders too when you have kids, do you have favorites? Like when you have multiple kids, and let me tell you something. I do not have a favorite. <clears throat> I have a favorite every day. Okay? So whoever is getting less on my nerves that day is going to be my favorite that day. <laughs> but I love them all the same, if that makes sense. Like I think there's of course times where I'm like, okay, it's too good on my nerves, you're my favorite. Sometimes you don't let me sleep, they're my favorite. You know, it's kind of one of those type of things that just depends on the day if you ask me but I always tell them you're my favorite Carter you're my favorite Carson and you're my favorite Mello my little squish squish my little squish squish some snack for lunch. He had a banana for breakfast this morning. Yeah. I think I'm gonna end up making him purees. I said I wasn't. I said I was just gonna do baby love weaning, but I just think I'm gonna do purees for him for a little while. Yeah. yeah. So we should make you some baby food in the baby food maker machine today, huh? Hmm. We need to pick up some fresh veggies. You hungry? Yeah. Boom. Look at you standing so big and so strong. Yeah. 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 Carson went through this phase where he would not tell me or his dad that he loved us. Like he literally just started telling us that he loved us like probably like a couple, I would say like six months ago. But we used to always tell them like obviously before they go to sleep, good night, I love you. And we tell Carter and Carter would always be like, love you too. And Carson would literally be like, okay. Like he did would not say it back. It was the funniest, it was the funniest thing. Cause Aaron used to get so offended and I'm like, it's, it was just so funny. He would literally just be like, like Nana said, like he would not say back and we'd be like, oh, do you love us too? He'd be like, <laughs> Carson is funny. Yeah, but now he always says it all the time and he's so sweet. He's like, mommy, I just want to give you a kiss. Like all times of the day, he just randomly comes up to me and he'd be like, I just want to give you a kiss, mommy. Yeah. Yeah. You have good brothers. Mm-hmm. They'll probably beat you up a lot, but it'll make you tough. It's all love. <laughs> You're gonna get him, huh? Yeah. Carter already got him. Carter already hit him one time. He already jumped him into the gang. You are officially part of the, the Davis brothers. Carson punched him in the face, like, a couple months ago. And he was just like... The baby, like, because he flails his arms a lot, so he was, like, play fighting with him. He knew he shouldn't have hit him, but he hit him. It was so sad. He he bit Carson. That's how Carson got initiated into the family as a newborn. I went to the bathroom one time when Carson was really little, and Carter, he was, like, laying on the couch, and Carter bit him. And I didn't know at first, but he was, like, screaming, and I was like, what happened? 
And then I looked at his belly and he had this big white, like this big bite mark. I was like, Carter was in his biting phase, at his biting age at that time too. So, which is so weird because he never bit anybody at school, but he surely did bite his brother. So I don't know what that was about. All right, I'm done rambling for now. I've been talking for like 20 minutes, okay. Bye. I have been talking to y'all nonstop today, but I caught the FedEx guy and they ended up just sending me like a brand new phone. So, yeah, now I have, I guess, two phones. Unless this is my phone and they just fixed it. I don't know. I guess I'm turning it on and see. They erased it either way, I think, but I'd be curious to know if my SIM card is in here. Because I don't remember if I took my SIM card out or not. It's dead. It might be my phone. Okay, I also got a whole bunch of packages in, which I don't know if they're Christmas decor or not. Um, but I don't think I'm gonna open any of the Christmas stuff until I do like all of it at this, not even all of it at the same time, because I'm sure I'll get some things here and there, but, um, if it's not, I'll open it with you guys, but if it is, then I'm just gonna save it, because I got like a whole bunch of stuff, so. Okay, I'm trying to put Carmelo down for a nap in his crib right now, so fingers crossed. We're gonna see how it goes. I'm about to go up there and check on him really fast, because he's a little bit whiny. And then, yeah, I don't know. I just wanted to tell y'all, I, I, I met up with the FedEx guy. He was like banging on the outside door when I was putting the boys down for a nap in their room faces the street. So I heard him and I ran down there and he looked at me like, oh my God, he probably thinks domestic violence or something. <laughs> he just kept looking at my face and I was like, I wanted to say like it's appeal, but I was just like, whatever. Like I said, the moral to the whole story is, sorry I have the knife in my opening a box. Anyways, if you have an iPhone and something goes wrong with it, please check your settings to see if you have a warranty because Apple will fix it or replace it as long as you haven't done anything to it. It's always cheaper to fix it at Apple and get Apple Care. But I didn't even have Apple Care, but my phone was under warranty and that's why I was able to get it fixed for free. Okay, that's it. I just want to tell the girls in case you needed that info because I never knew that, to be honest. I would have gotten a lot of phones fixed or replaced through Apple if that was the case. But it can't have like, if it does have damage, it, you can't have gotten it fixed with like outside companies pieces. Like it needs to be fixed by Apple, which is why you should have Apple care. Okay, anyway. mm, this battery finna die, see y'all in a second. I have it started earlier. Look at my face. Gross. That tattoo. You yeah, haven't seen Trap in the Closet? She ain't never seen Trap in the Closet. Yeah. So if you don't watch Trap in the Closet. Apparently so. And make breakfast. Stop that! Look. You can't do that. Daddy! Alright, breakfast. Here we go. This is the update. I cut the extra skin, like, it was peeling around my face, but it's what we look like today. A mess. <laughs> Amazed. Did the dishwasher never run last night? God. I'm trying to get through these dishes for the last. What'd you just what you, what you just say? There's 33 episodes. <laughs> How long are the episodes? It's like four or five minutes. But that no, that extra starts to get longer than like six, seven minutes. <laughs> I wanna make a spooky breakfast. Agenda for the day is still cleaning the house today, I think. Yesterday, I ended up going through the boys' closet through their clothes. Our room is a mess now, so we need to clean up our room. Just the whole house in general needs to be cleaned. But I'll come back and probably talk to y'all after we watch this. R. Kelly trapped in the closet. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna keep the lights low just because of this whole situation we got going on. But we're finna clean up, so I don't really know why I picked y'all up because I'm really not finna do anything but clean. So, do we really want to watch me clean? 
I don't know. Oh, my. you know what? I was on Amazon placing a whole bunch of Amazon orders last night. And the one thing I did not get was a camera mount. And it's broken. Like, it's supposed to be, like, way high. One of the, like, levels is broken. Anyways, okay. I'm back to clean their bathroom because their bathroom is disgusting. So, I'll just show y'all before and after. But I'm not going to probably um, turn this back off. <laughs> mm. I'm trying to, like, move my face around a lot to help, like, the peel, you know, like, come on. Because I really want to be peeling, done peeling in the next, like, it's Friday today. Oh shit, how am I gonna go to church on Sunday looking like this? I'm not, I will not be, I will not be. <laughs> um, I would like to be done peeling by Sunday. So I've started peeling basically here. Like we got this far so far. Well, y'all can see where it started peeling y'all saw this morning, but. Anyways, I feel like the more I kind of like move my face around, the more it just like helps it. My armpits are hairy, don't look. <laughs> I'm trying to decide if I want to shave or go get a wax, so I haven't, I haven't shaved yet. I'm really honestly going to start going back to getting laser hair removal, especially under my armpits. Like, I don't really care for like anything other hair on my body, but like armpits is one thing that I just don't like for it to be hairy, so... I'm probably going to start by getting laser under my arms, but anyways, <clears throat> yeah, the bathroom's a disaster, so this is what it looks like before. Got toys everywhere. Y'all see this mount that I'm using? This is not my regular tripod, but anyways, okay. We got toys everywhere. It's just, it's, it's dirty. Look, look at that. Disgusting. Disgusting. I don't even want to show y'all, but this is reality of how my life is made. It's so gross in here, so I'm about to get in here and deep clean. Okay, baby. Good morning. Here's a little face update. I didn't talk to you guys a lot yesterday because we ended up just cleaning up the house and then Aaron's brother came over. We played some uh, Mancala, some Cup Pong, and we did a little fire with him and his best friend. So, um, yeah, we're headed to Carter's game. My face is peeled that much back. I have sunscreen like all over it since I'm gonna be outside. And then my forehead is kind of started peeling, but not all the way yet. But um, yeah, we're headed to the game and then um, I'll see y'all later today. <clears throat> oh, I gotta get, am I gonna get copyrighted <clears throat> for the little ants marching down the hill? Y'all, I've been sick. I've been looking a mess like what is going on? I brought all the ants family back. Here's an update on my face so basically most of my cheek has peeled except for this part right here let me turn this off hold on because i don't want to get copyright i don't know about that um and then this part my chin my nose is peeled and then half of my forehead has peeled i have a whole bunch of aquaphor on it right now because those places where my face was like really like bruised looking even though it wasn't bruised it was more like a scab they're like really raw and i didn't like pick out or anything like they just came off when i was washing my face and it just is really really raw so I've been slathering my face with Aquaphor. Um, I definitely can tell the difference of like, just like the texture of my skin. It looks really good. So the peel that I ended up getting, it's mixed with like the one that like two and like, okay. So basically I think I told you on the beginning, but just to wrap it up, cause we're getting close to the end of the vlog. Um, and you guys probably won't see like the results till the next week, but <clears throat> like after my face is fully peeled. Anyways, I got the Purify Plus Precision Peel, so it also treated texture and acne and not just dark marks. So all of the like darker marks that I feel like I still kind of like have left over, I can treat it with the other peel that they have that's just for dark marks in a month if I decide to. For now, I'm just going to probably give my skin a break after the peel, do a lot of hydration at home, get a hydrofacial, derma planning, see where we are from there, then we'll decide if we need to get another peel in November or December. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, so we went to Carter's game, then we ended up going out to Snooze, which is, I think they have it a lot of places. I want to say it's like a ch popular chain restaurant now, but it's so good. We've never been, um, I didn't have my camera on me when we went in there. We had just went right after practice and I've been kind of like tired, you know, I haven't been feeling good. So, um, yeah, it was really good. I ended up getting like a burrito and customizing it and I had a morning margarita. I don't know why. And then we came home and took a nap, so. So. 
we are going to finish off the vlog with an Amazon and Sephora haul. So if you want to stay for that um, and see what things that I picked up, because I believe the Sephora sale is starting the day that I'm showing that I uploaded this video. So if you guys are thinking about purchasing anything, here goes what I got and my recommendations. Okay. And then Mom, also, can I see two? yeah. And then also, I got a whole bunch of stuff from Amazon. Um, so I want to show you guys that stuff as well before we go. And that's basically how we're going to end off today because it's Saturday, tomorrow, Sunday. We have church tomorrow, Sunday reset, all of that kind of thing. Church so, tomorrow! Yeah. Let's see. So, the first thing that I ended up getting was the Olaplex um, hair repair treatment kit. So, it has basically the intensive bond repair treatment, um, the number three, number four, and number five. And I actually got this as a gift for my mom because you guys know they're having the holiday gift sets right now. And there's a ton that I didn't even get that I think are like really good deals on Sephora yeah. right now. Um, what's up? So I got that for my mom for Christmas. And again, there's a ton of like holiday sets on there that they have that are really good right now. So I'm probably gonna end up purchasing some more for like just stocking stuffers or like things to give to like my aunts and things like that. Um, so I got that, I did get that for my mom. Um, and then I went ahead and read up on my Necessary products and the eucalyptus scent because I just have not used them in so long. And I really, really like Necessaire. It's definitely one of my staple body washes, something that I always go back to using. You guys know I have like partnered with them a couple times, but I love what they look like and stuff, so. Um, yeah. And then I got the Oat Cleansing Balm from the Inky List. This is supposed to be a really good um, like cleanser to help remove makeup or cleanse sensitive skin. And they say that you're supposed to use something like a balm. Um, when you wear sunscreen on your face, which I do, so I wanted to try that out. Okay, Fenty dropped a shimmering body butter, so you know I had to get it. I'm literally, uh, I'm obsessed with sparkles and shine and shimmery stuff, so. I don't even know if this has any sparkles in it. I thought it does, but okay, maybe it has a little bit. I don't know, we're going to have to try it and see. Oh my gosh, this feels, smells so good, though. This is going to be, like, perfect for the holidays. This smells like gingerbread. Alright, I also picked up another body wash from Necessaire in the scent Sandalwood, just because, again, I really like their products. I love the black bottle top, especially because, like, the aesthetic in my room is, my bathroom is black. Y'all know, I like, a, I like a vibe. Okay, a vibe. And I haven't tried this scent yet, so I picked this one up. It's cute. It's so cute. I like the aesthetics. Okay, I'm going to start doing, like, more shower and hygiene routines soon, because I know the girls miss that. I just... I've been pregnant and in newborn mommy phase, so I'll be back. I'll be back soon, I promise. <laughs> but, um, okay. I also wanted to try this out. I was able to get this, um, at Little Mini for a little discounted price. Um, I just heard such good things about the Drunk Elephant brand, and so I got the, uh, baby facial, um, mask, because I just heard that it works really well. I'm obviously not going to use it anytime soon since I just got a chemical peel, but, I just figure maybe it's something that I can try out and if I like it, I can add it to my routine. I am planning on changing up my skincare routine after this peel and like using new products and trying different things for a little while. So I'll definitely keep you guys updated on that. I've been wanting this for forever and it was sold, sorry, it was sold out all summer. And so I was like, okay, I have to get it now. One, because the sale and then two, because like <laughs> it'll be gone in the summer. It's the Summer Fridays um, Pool Time Glowing Body Oil. It's not even focusing. Oh my gosh, you guys. It's so pretty. It smells heavenly. Please get this. I haven't even tried it on my skin yet, but this smells amazing. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to get another bottle of this because it was sold out during the summer. Like, you could not get it. I also got the rest of the steps for the necessary um, in the... Oh. I did not mean to buy two of those. That must have been two of my cart. Okay, well, I'm gonna do maybe, maybe I'll put this away and do a giveaway. I always uh, heard really good things about the Kaoli um, perfumes, 
and I just honestly have never tried them out when I was pregnant my nose was really weird and I did not like a lot of fragrances and when you're pregnant it's not really a good time to be buying fragrances so I've kind of waited until my hormones are kind of like you know calmed back down to start repurchasing things um, and kind of just starting my perfume collection over to be honest and this one was like super recommended so I wanted to try it. Ooh, that smells really good. I always like to buy perfumes in the small bottle first, wear them on my skin, because even just smelling them in the store doesn't really give you that good of an idea. You need to like smell it on yourself. So like, so I will use like Simper and stuff like that too if I want to like really try something. But this smells pretty good. Again, I can't, I don't know yet if I'm sold. What's the matter? Hopefully they sent me my other stuff. Okay. Okay, I wanted to try a fancy body butter. The only other body butter that I've tried that's like really super fancy is the La Mercier. Le Mercier. And um, I like it, it's really good, but I felt like I only used it on like, like special occasions because it was like literally so expensive. Um, and so now I wanted to try something else. So I got the Chanel body lotion. <clears throat> and I just wanted to see this. This would probably be, you know, like. Mm, that smells good. It smells like the Chanel perfume. I can't remember which one it is, but this is Chanel Paris, but yeah, it smells like the perfume. I do like a little lux or for like a date night or something like that. I thought this would be nice. A little lotion to add to the collection, not an everyday thing. Um. A repurchase that I got that I'm absolutely obsessed with is the Fenty Buff Rider Body Scrub. It's a holy grail. So I was like, let's make a whole routine out of it. I also grabbed the Fenty Skin Hand Cream because why not? Something that I really need to start taking more care of is my hands and like wearing lotion and sunscreen on them. <clears throat> I ended up getting this sample from Dr. Barbara Stern, which if you're on TikTok or on skincare TikTok or whatever, she's like so trendy right now, her products, um, and they're outrageously expensive. So when I saw that I could get it as a sample for free, I was like, oh, hell yeah. And it's a vitamin C serum, which is like what I'm always super interested in. So I'm going to try this out and I'll let you guys know. Again, like I said, I'm going to be changing up my skincare routine. So I want to try different things out and just kind of like see what works for me um, based off of recommendations that I get from, you know, that I find and then from my esthetician. I also went ahead and picked up this. I thought this was going to be a really cute like stocking stuffer gift or a gift for my mom's. Uh, the present that I have in mind for my mom and my aunt. My mom is one of three sisters so I usually get them all the same gift. Mom, but, like, can I go get it? You can go get it out the fridge. Um, but I either get it in like a different color or like a different style but basically the same thing. I don't know. That's probably shitty but <laughs> that's what I do for them. And so I, the idea that I have in my head, I thought that that would be to put inside of there. So, yeah. I also got the Necessaire Body Scrub and the Eucalyptus. I really like their body scrubs because they're chemical and physical exfoliants. It's not going to focus, but um, yeah. Probably going to do a Eucalyptus shower routine if you guys can peep the vibe. Um, and then the last couple of things I got was, I wanted to try this. I have, the girls have been raving about um, this fragrance and the body cream and just how it just lasts on the skin forever. And then also I get a lot of compliments when I wear just like the regular original Boom Boom um, spray in the orange bottle from Sol de Janeiro. Um, when I go anywhere, people always, always compliment me like more than even when I wear like super expensive perfumes. So I was like, why not try it out? I got the little set to go together and then I decided to get a candle because honestly I want to go candle shopping I really want to go to Diptyque and get some candles <clears throat> um, but I haven't just gotten a candle from anywhere except for Target in a while so I got one from Jo Malone just because I feel like I don't really have a good candle in my bathroom to like set the vibe so I was like hmm let me just pick one up and see what it's what it's giving it came wrapped so nice the box was so pretty i got wood sage and sea salt 
Hopefully this smells good. <coughs> Ordering online is painful. Mm, actually, that smells so good. It's definitely a more masculine scent. Are you following? You look a... What's up? I don't even know what he's... But, um, it's like a masculine scent, but I actually really, really like it. It's going to sound so weird, but it reminds me of my grandpa, <laughs> which probably doesn't sound good, but he smells, my grandpa smells so good. And it reminds me of, like, the way his home smells and just him. That's actually, like, very nostalgic scent, actually. Interesting. I really like that. That is everything that I got. Um, the, I am going to be purchasing some more stuff for the actual sale on the day of the sale. So um, <clears throat> yeah, I will leave everything that I'm going to get and what I just showed you guys linked in my description box. So you can check it out if you want to. Again, I would definitely take advantage of like any of the holiday sets that they have right now or any small like sample sizes or like travel sizes that are on sale right now for new products that you want to try out because it's just a good way to save some money. I also did get some other things um, that I would highly recommend getting from the Sephora sale that I already purchased, which is this Summer Fridays. It won't focus. It's trying to look at mellow. Anyways, it looks like this, but it's the Summer Fridays Shadow Drops Broad Spectrum Milk Mineral Sunscreen. I use this and keep it in my purse because it's small and compact and I can take it with me to reapply my sunscreen throughout the day. And it has like almost this light shimmer to it. I really like this. And then there's a lip kit by Summer Fridays that's been on sale and I had already grabbed it. And I think I put it on while I was in this video. I want to say, let me just show you guys. I have some of it, like half of it's upstairs in my room. So I don't have it on me, but... I will link it in the description box. You guys should go look at it. The colors on there are fantastic. If you like Summer Fridays, like lip balm in general, if you haven't tried their like different colors that they have, they look so good on the lip, especially this like brown color one. I'll put the name on the screen because I can't think of what it's called, but it literally looks so good on my lips and I'm like obsessed. I was changing his diaper and then I like didn't set him back up. So the moms know. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to go get the boxes from, well, let me show you guys what I got yesterday from Amazon because a couple of things came in yesterday, but a big bulk of the stuff came in today and then throughout the rest of the week it'll be coming, but you guys will see that in another vlog. Um, <clears throat> also, Aaron and I are going to do this in the next vlog. I didn't want to do it when my face was peeling, which I don't know why, but I just felt like it would, it would be too spicy. So Aaron and I are going to do this next vlog. He got the little spicy chip. I had no idea about the spicy chip challenge. But apparently they had them at the gas station, so we're going to do that next week, probably. But okay, here's what I got. I'm on like an Amazon junkie haul right now. Like, I don't, I don't know. I needed some like retail therapy or something, so I went on Amazon. But I ended up um, <clears throat> doing like a cart empty, and I got some stuff that I had had in my cart. And one of the things I had was these facial bronzer drops. If you guys have watched any of my videos, like earlier in the summer, I started learning about like basically self tanning and like how it's not just for Caucasian people. Melanated girls can do it too, and it makes our skin just look so much more glowy and even toned. And so I want to try these out because I heard really good reviews. It's the number 12. Um, Lux unfiltered and I love the drops that go on clear so you don't have to worry about it like staining You just need to make sure you wash your hands after you use them and the packaging on this is literally so cute So picked that up. I also got some cuticle oil from OPI because my cuticles get really dry and I know in the winter time It's just gonna like get worse. So I was like, yeah, let me go ahead and get some of that um, I got some matcha, but Amazon is really trifling for this Packet look how thin that is of matcha, but anyways I've been missing making matcha at home, so I got that. Um, I haven't opened this stuff yet, it's still in boxes. So I ended up getting this um, salad spinner, but basically to, like for salads too, but like to dry my fruit when I wash them. Because I feel like that's the hardest part about prepping your fruit is waiting for it to dry, especially like strawberries and stuff like that. So I saw this girl on TikTok and she was like spinning them to dry them. And I was like, oh, makes so much sense. Let me get that. So also, I am now going to be one of those people that has like an ice container, like, like 
section in their freezer. So I got all these different little ice molds. I just think it's so cute. I do like having the aesthetic ice. When I have time to make it, I just think it's so cute. So I ended up getting like big ice cubes for fruit ice to make, little crushed cubes. And then I got some heart ones. I already have some butterfly ones. Um, and yeah, and then this in the mail as well. You guys know I really, really love using these. I feel like I'll never go back to using like a regular towelet or just paper towel or anything. The Clean Skin Club um, skin towelettes, 1010 would recommend. Love them. So all the other stuff just came in the mailbox though. If you're still here, hang in there if you want to see some more stuff from Amazon because I literally just got a whole bunch more stuff, but I need to go grab it from the front door really fast. So BRB. Okay, the amount of stuff that's piled up boxes, plus there's boxes in front of me. Here we go. We're just going to get into it because it's a lot. I really did go. I really did do the full on Amazon, but <clears throat> I am really just getting myself vamped up, ready for this last quarter of the year and then also the new year. So I got a lot of cute, like aesthetic -y things um, for content and stuff. I ended up ordering Carmelo more of these onesies. I think I showed you guys these at the beginning of the vlog. From this brand, they are the dupe for the Kite Baby. Literally amazing material, quality, stretch, feel, comfort, everything. If you have a newborn and you want something close to Kite Baby, you don't want some of the Kite Baby coin, get these. Now he has like seven of those in nine to 12 month. So, 10 cents. Some things are, I got were like really random. Oh, I got an otter box for my phone. I'm still gonna get a case from Caseify because I really like their cases and they really do protect your phone from breaking and falling. But I needed it like really, really quick. So I had got it off Amazon so it would come like the next day type of thing. Since y'all know I got a new phone. So I just ended up getting like a plain one because I just needed something fast because I know me and I know I don't want to break my phone. I'm not going in any order. I'm opening the boxes randomly. So I got these little bibs. Mello. I never had these with the other two boys, but I think these are so cool Daddy. because it goes on their sleeves and everything so they cannot get their clothes messy. So I've got them in two back. It's this neutral color. It's more nude. It looks kind of like light pink, but it's like neutral. They have them in other colors too. And then I got one in orange. Did y'all know that Amazon Prime plays the NFL games? So Oh, I'm about to cancel my live subscription. What? I love using my high frequency wand. So I got these sheets that you put over your face to use them. Um, because if you have a high frequency wand, then you know what I'm talking about. You have to like put serums on or something to like help it glide. And I found that they had these on Amazon. So I was like, that's going to make it so much easier to do like my treatments at home. Um, things that I think that are inv worth investing for at home to keep up with your skincare. <clears throat> is high frequency ones um and so i thought this would be fun to have and to use and maybe i can like do it on erin it'll be it'll be a good time speaking of high frequency ones i did have to order a couple replacement pieces uh the tubes are glass and i broke one at our last place and then i stabbed myself actually in the hand with one um recently and it was like i was like putting it in the tool because it's like a tool that you hold you pluck the piece in and i like missed the piece and it broke and it like it was disgusting and it bled for like days it was crazy. it was crazy. so i had to get a new one um they come with the heads already when you buy it originally off amazon but i wanted the little pieces that i'm missing because they all do they all do different things this one is like one to like zap your pimples away next thing we got also was inspired by I think actually Instagram real. Um, I saw this scrub. It's the number eight Lux Unfiltered. I don't know if the brand is Lux Unfiltered. Maybe that's the brand name. It's the same brand as the little face drops that I got. But um, it's a body scrub. Oh, this smells like heaven. I'm so excited for. I got it like some new like hygiene products and stuff off Amazon, which I'm about to show you guys. But okay, yeah, I'm obsessed. I haven't even used it yet, but the smell, I already know, 1010. 1010, it's a body polish. It comes with like this cute little scooper. All right, another hygiene product. I already have some products from this brand, but I haven't tried out their body wash. 
And I'm kind of in the era of like trying new body washes. And this one is by the brand Salt and Stone Packaging Aesthetic. We love to see it. Um, and this is in the set Bergamot and Eucalyptus. Ooh, that's like super masculine. And it smells amazing. Ooh, I'm excited. I'm excited to try all this new stuff. Okay. Ooh. Something else. This was like all stuff that's been sitting in my cart for a while, you guys, that I was like, okay, I'm going to go ahead and treat myself. You know when you like save up your cart? And I know if you're on TikTok, you guys have seen this. It's literally the flameless candles. And I love having a candle lit in the bedroom at night, but obviously it's not realistic to have it lit all throughout the night. But I do do that sometimes because um, I like it so much. But I guess you have to put batteries in here. They're the flameless candles. I got them in the gold color. I'm going to link everything for y'all, but um, it comes in a set of three, and I'm super excited to try these out and see what they look like. I have a little remote that comes with it. I didn't think all this stuff was going to come today. I thought some of it was going to come. Well, I know there's still some stuff coming next week. I didn't realize all of this was coming today. Random thing that I ended up getting was these disposable... Um, slip-on socks to put oatmeal in so I can give Carmelo oat baths because it's just really good for baby's skin and he has extremely extremely sensitive skin I got some bibs if you're gonna buy baby bibs come on now silicone's the way to go silicone or a plastic material you can like rinse off because ain't got the time for washing all that stuff in the wash machine so I got these real cute colors off Amazon again this looks it looks neutral on camera I was gonna say looks pink in person but it's green neutral blue and they have a few more colors another super trendy thing that's been sitting in my cart forever that i finally had and got was the flat water bottle because they fit perfectly inside a little tote bag which is what i carry when i'm out with the kids and i need water i have water bottles in there anyways so might as well have something sleek and cute ASMR. Um, I'm so, there's a fly in the house. Oh my god, not today. It's probably that same fly from yesterday coming back to torment us. Me and Aaron were sitting down here for like 20 minutes throwing our shoes around the house trying to kill these flies. And I got it. I got it because I'm cold. I really should have picked up the camera last night when I was playing cup pong because i am like legit so cold at beer pong and puck pong i say puck pong cup pong it's ridiculous like i'd be on fire y'all i whooped everybody's last night okay like i should have went to college because i would have been on the table super okay with amazon if they just sent me the products in the box we don't need to repackage them this thing is bigger super excited about this I've been looking for an alternative to okay, open it up. to a shower like shelf because I like them, but also that's okay. Okay, I ended up getting this instead because sometimes the color of the shelf just like throws off the aesthetic a little bit. From my standpoint of like content creation, I think that's what my mindset is. But besides that, I think they're fine. Um, I was looking for an alternative. Came across these on Instagram Reels. Anyways, I thought these were super cute to go in the shower, add some extra storage. All right, another one of the ice things I got came in. I have tried to make round ice a couple of times, and the the ones that were first dropping when it got really popular was just like ridiculous, and they like did not make ice very well at all. Um, this is little cubes. I ordered little circles. I'm so mad. I just have to return it. But anyways, I wanted little circle ice cubes for my ice drawer. So I got those. The molds are pretty inexpensive too. They're only like five or six bucks. I have been a lot more into coffee lately. I think I'm actually starting to believe that I'm a coffee drinker. So of course, when I go to Starbucks every day, I did end up getting an espresso. So, so that's coming. It might be in one of these boxes. I don't know. But um, what I wanted to get, I uh, think it's so cute when they have your, um, the vanilla and caramel like syrups and flavorings in these little pump things to pump into your coffee. Oh, I think that is so 
adorable. So I ended up getting a two pack of these because that's how much syrup I have right now. I just have the caramel and vanilla. I'm not like a, a mixologist yet, okay, a barista yet, but we're getting there. I thought this would be really good, good for us. <laughs> or just for like yourself. Like it's good for like splitting drinks. It's basically like a thing and it's split in the middle and you can put one drink on one side, one drink on the other side. I know y'all been seeing this. I thought this was so cute because I could like put coffee on one side and water on one side because when you leave, you they don't mix together. They're separate. Why are you making that face? Like you could have your drink over here and I could have my drink over here. Do you know what I'm saying? It's not a, it's, it's they're like literally not book. mixing. I thought it'd be cool to like, I put my coffee and water. Cause you always need both at the same time, but in one cup, so you don't have multiple cups in the car. You feel me? You feel me? I might end up getting more than one of these. I got some more cups. Cause if I'm going to be doing coffee, you guys are real cute, real static. So I got some more cups. I'm really actually like, I really am into like cup, cuppery. That's like one of my things. I actually really like having like, Unique cups. I can't get this box open for shaped square cups. Cause I thought these were so cute. And you can never have you can never have enough cups. It came in like a little four pack. And yeah. Also different cups and stuff motivate me to drink water and just different things so. The brand is called Lux Unfiltered, by the way. Um, for all this stuff. I also picked up one of their um, their shower oil. I love a body oil, especially a shower oil. So I was like super excited when I saw this. They have a whole line of like hygiene stuff. So maybe I'll like buy more products and do like a little video, but uh, it smells amazing. It smells amazing. And it comes in a little pump. The bottle is cute. We love it here. Um, I'll have to use it and then give you guys rec like my final opinion on it, but I love shower oil to put it on. It's super easy, especially in the mornings, because in the morning time, that's when I feel like I don't really have a lot of time to do like a whole body butter, all that. So if I can get it done while I'm in the shower, be moisturized by the time I get out, that's the route that I like to go. This is, ooh. All right, hear me out. We're going to Disney, so you know your girl had to get air tags, one for the luggage, because people be trifling trying to steal the luggage. Um, and then two for the kids because it's obviously a huge park and I don't want them to get lost. So I ordered air tags, which they haven't come yet, but I also got these little things because I was debating on what I want to get for their air tags to like hold them on them. So, you know, they get, they have those bracelets you can put around their arm or their foot, but I was like, that's kind of too obvious for me. Um, because like if somebody saw, like if somebody was trying to take them and they weren't just lost, they could just take the air tag off. This pins inside of their clothes and I feel like it'd be less noticeable for someone if they were trying to run off with my very, my very, very cute children. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm super excited about this. This was an impulse buy. This was not already in my cart. I saw it on TikTok. It is the Hourglass um, Lip Balm Gloss. And the girl used it on TikTok and her lips look uh, amazing. And I was like, okay, I'm buying that immediately. I can't tell because I cannot see in the viewfinder. My glasses are supposed to be coming in soon though, so hopefully that'll change. Does that look good? I can't see. Y'all let me know. Besides this whole, I'm, my face is peeling kind of thing, but mm, the texture is really nice. Like that. I'm getting ready to do, redo my office after we finish. Um, Carmelo's room is pretty much done now, but um, Cause I'm gonna, he's gonna get stuff for Christmas, so that's kind of why I've left it kind of like a blank slate for now. I got these real cute aesthetic highlighters. I'm gonna obviously be using this stuff in other videos. I don't know why I wanted to do like this huge Amazon haul in this video. I guess because I just got all this stuff. But yeah, I got another one of my replacement pieces for the um, high frequency one because I also broke this one as well. This one is one that you can use to help penetrate serums into your face. All of them do different things. So this is what the tools look like. I have this one, I have this one, and then I replaced these two that broke. <clears throat> All right, last two things. The Nespresso machine did come in. I'll show you guys what it looks like because um, I did get it in like this really cute color because I really wanted a coffee machine. I used to have a Keurig, but it didn't match the color, like the vibe of the house, which is white and cream, you know. I may have to spray paint the hardware on there to match because I don't know if it's like a champagne color. We're gonna see in a second, but 
This is like TMI, something that I bought, but I'm literally legit. Listen. Since I saw this hack years ago, I always keep a step stool in my bathrooms and that's what I use to do this method, but it's a squatty potty. And if you don't know what a squatty potty is, basically it just helps you go and it helps tremendously. Like the elevation of putting your feet up into like a sitting position, I don't know what it, what it does. Okay, I don't know the science behind it. I just know that it works. And so I would like always steal the kids' step stools and like put them in my restroom when I need to go to the bathroom. Like I cannot go to the bathroom without one of these anymore. Like, <laughs> like or a step stool or putting my feet on something, which sounds so crazy because obviously that's not normally how we go to the bathroom. But like in the last two, like two years, I, that's all I've done. Like I have to elevate my feet when I go to the bathroom. <laughs> and so I finally caved and bought this because I do it so much that I'm like, okay, it's, it's worth it for me to invest in this. I feel like it was a little pricey for what it is. Like, you could definitely just get a step stool. This is just kind of like a little bit more visually pleasing, and it scoops right up under the toilet, <clears throat> and then you can just put your feet right on there, and it's acrylic, but yeah. It's called a squatty potty. It is like $80, so it has been sitting in my car for a long time. And then I finally was like, hey, let's press the green button on this and go ahead and go ahead and just get it so i did aaron is probably going to be like what is that because he has no idea that i use that every time i go to the bathroom <laughs> but watch he's going to start using it and it's going to change his life and then he's not going to be able to do it anymore. i'm also going to wash my tape ins today i was supposed to go get them like cut and styled um but my hairstylist went out of town. I honestly, I don't think that I like tape-ins. I'm not even going to hold y'all. I'm going to go back to braids. I'm actually going to keep these in for a while because tape-ins are expensive. So I do want to get the use out of them while I can. So I'll probably keep them in for probably like, um, maybe till our, almost to like our trip to Disney. Because I don't think I'm going to want to have, I think braids will be nice for Disney. Because I don't have to worry about like, an, like taking extra time to do my hair while we're out of town. And then we're also going to Colorado right after that. So not right after that, but like a month later. So um, I think it'll probably just be easier to have some braids. And again, I am trying to protect my hair. So I haven't been like flat ironing my leave out or doing anything to it to prevent heat damage or just further damage in general. And that's like not optimal when you have tapins. Like you have to be able to style your hair, which I knew, but I don't know. Again, Kaylee talked me into getting them, and my hair did need a break from tape, so I was like, okay, I'll get them, but it's just not, I think if you were thinking about getting tape-ins, like, unless you're somebody who just wants to wear your hair in a ponytail or, like, a clip like this all the time, and you obviously don't care about doing your hair every day, then they are a better option than eye tips, um, but also, I feel like a U-part wig would suffice. Oh, look at it. It's so pretty. It's like this cream color. The hardware is silver. So I probably will end up painting it gold just because I am that. The countertops are literally full of shit. Aaron is going to be like, what the hell? Editing me is inserting this because I guess this is when my camera memory ran out, but I got these, um, which I'm super excited about. I saw this girl on Instagram. I can't remember the creator's name, but if I do, I will um, tag her. She basically puts like menus in here for breakfast for the kids and then like a day of the week. So they circle what day of the week is. You can use a dry erase board marker and just really cute things that I thought would be like super cool for the kids, especially like in the morning at when we're doing like our homework, things like that. So, yeah. So yeah, I'm about to get back into first cleaning up all this mess and unboxing and all the products and stuff, cook dinner, and then do my mommy duties for the night. Uh, it's Saturday, so I'm going to wash the boys' hair and get their hair all detangled and stuff so it's ready to go for church tomorrow morning. And then I don't really know what I have planned for Sunday yet, if I'm going to be vlogging or if I'm going to be filming like a reset or like Sunday self-care video. So I know I've been all over the place. These last two videos you guys have seen in these last couple weeks, y'all know it's been a little bit of just picking myself back up. So the retail therapy was much needed. <laughs> but um, yeah, if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in another video.